Hey Stampers, this is Robin Mudd with Simple Designs by Robin and Kennedy One Creations. Uh, several of you have asked me because you all saw that I hauled the Tim Holtz dies. Now, a lot of you wanted to know the difference in the sizes, so I decided to do a small video to show you. This is the tag and tie, and this is what that one looks like. And I cut the paper for this one at six by six and that way I can fit it right on there because I don't like to waste my paper and um, this one is the alterations it's the tag and book plates die and look how much bigger that one is so a lot of people were confused over those sides because they look about the same but they are not the same size and this paper I cut it at eight and seven eighths by nine. That way it gives me enough room to cut the whole thing out because it is a huge die. So we'll cut this one out first. And I went on and got my extended plates because that way I already have them. Even though I'm going to cut the little one with it also. But... I love these dies. I mean, Tim Holtz has just outdone himself because I use a lot of uh, these dies because uh, I make a lot of tags at Christmas time. And this is this die. You see the size of that sucker? I'll measure it for you in just a minute. But also, you get this tag and you even get a little extra piece and you can use that for a tag I don't waste anything and most crafters I know don't either and these are the little dots the tag I call them the tag bags is what I call them but I know that's not what they are and then you have little pieces for eyeballs if you want to use them for that and then here's another book plate and now we're going to do the other one. Um, I love the bigger dies because when I do my Christmas dies, I use uh, Maybe Made It's um, Ugly Sweater stamps. And um, I've talked to her, I emailed her, well, texted her the other day, and I asked her if they were going to start, since they have their stamp in their store and everything, uh, if they were going to start making... Because uh, I'm lazy, you all, for heaven's sakes. I can't help it. And uh, they're gonna, if they start making framelits to go with their stamps. And she said that they were going to start working on it. So I can't wait for that. So this tag die is the 657859. And it has an extra little tag there with it. And I'll show you that. And it also has the little tag circles to go on it. <clears throat> Let me get rid of my big shot here. Okay. Now this is what the tags look like side by side. Now the bigger tag, I told you I would measure it for you. It is six and looks like one fourth by five oh it's six and a fourth also but of course you have your corners cut out here and then you have those and i'll show you everything that goes with this one and then your other little tag it is four looks like four and a fourth by four and three-fourths maybe but you can tell the difference in them once you get them cut out. But when you're looking at them online and stuff, unless you just have your... I'm not good at measurements, you all. I'm going to tell you all that right now. So I have to kind of get my measuring tape out so I can look and see what it is, what's going on. And Because as my son will tell you, math is not my strong suit. And this is what it looks like. So... You all wanted my opinion on them. I think Tim Holtz has outdone himself. 
I love the tags and I can't wait to use them for um, the Christmas tags and birthday tags and journal tags. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. God bless you. We love you and have a great day.